Okay, we're at Western Fair today. Excited to catch up with Blazer, Dwayne Blaze. Uh, now, before we get into your background, you're involved in a, a number of different businesses. Let's, uh, let's start with all the businesses you're involved with. You've, <laughs> yeah. Most of them you've created. Yeah, well, it's kind of one big one. I, well, one that kind of kind of spanned off, had a little children along the way, I think. But uh, Total Pocket Talkies, is obviously our main, our, main, our main business. And then uh, through that, we kind of just started the Learn Night Talk Academy, the private academy. And then ASAD's a new program that came in this year through the high school with, where athletes, it doesn't have to be hockey, it can be any athlete. Uh, can go basically to their normal school, but then come and do their athletics with us mm -hmm. at the gym or on the ice or with their strength coaches or their uh, skill coaches, whoever that is, uh, which has been great. That's been really, really cool. And then we started the National Skill Development Association and more so for coaches, parents, or players looking at how to teach skill and how to break down skill and be able to use it on the ice. So we've been doing that, which has been a lot of fun. Uh, started a little podcast called Behind the Gear, which has been kind of a passion project of mine because I love podcasts and stuff, which has been great. So been doing that and then we've got uh, the gym downstairs which is uh, called Total Package uh, Speed Strength and Conditioning and the guys down there Mitch and Trevor and Josh are doing an awesome job so they've been uh, kind of handling all the off-white stuff and all the athletes. So every day wearing different hats trying to jungle yeah. all the different brands. Yeah exactly. Keeps it interesting yeah. every day. Yeah no it's been fun yeah and you know we've got really good people around us that are working with us which is awesome so that makes it, uh, makes it a lot of fun for sure. I know the, uh, the the skills department and all the videos, you, videos you're doing for coaches is just phenomenal And but I think most people know you in London. Uh, one for your shot. I hear, I hear you had the best shot. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I know you I'm getting won't. older now. I'm getting older. I don't know. I need better sticks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but most people know you to because you've probably trained their kid as early as three or four years old, and, and you've also probably trained the best of the best to come home for the summers. Yeah, we've been really fortunate. I've been here for probably almost 15 years now, and I've been really fortunate to get in with some really good players along the way, and some of them at young ages, and then working with them all the way through. Um, and then, yeah, a lot of we've been really lucky to have a lot of good NHLers now that are playing in the NHL, but that we've had you know kind of go through that minor hockey, then junior, and then and then go on to follow their dreams to the NHL, which mm -hmm. has been really cool. So yeah, it's been uh, yeah, it's hard, it's crazy when you look back on how fa how fast time flies, but mm -hmm. it's been really 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 cool process for sure. I know, obviously, we connected with West London, so ran the, ran the tech the tech program for a few years, and our novice program is really strong. And one, we've got a lot of coaches, but we got a lot of coaches because I said. TPH is going to provide the practice plans and you guys are there coaching our coaches. So uh, we're now uh, enjoying the fruits of that. We've had a really strong year in, at Minor Novice and that's just because we've had three years of development. When, uh, yeah, it's funny. I've it's talked amazing. to some other parents and coaches about that and how West London did it. And yeah, we provided some practice plans, maybe some structure there a little bit. But at the end of the day, you had a lot of good coaches that were involved that kind of helped that whole thing go. But now you see those those kids that have been in it for a couple of years and how that foundation, you see how mm -hmm. well they're doing. And now Westland is one of the associations that I was talking about, and, you know, how they're doing well and the kids are doing really good, which is awesome. So. so from the young kids to the pros, who are some of the names that you typically see in the summertime or at Christmas time that come back and skate with you? Yeah, I mean, we a, it's been a really fun list. Like it's, uh, yeah, I know over the years there have been some that have come and gone, uh, you know, but local guys that have been around for a while now, kind of guys like Travis Konechny, uh, Mitch Van Sample, who's playing in the minors right now, but it's with the New York Islanders. Uh, Bo Horvat, Oli Mata, uh, Mike McCarron. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of Greg McKegg who's getting a good stint this year with Carolina, which is awesome. Um, and then a lot of the London Knights, we work with them as well. So we mm -hmm. do a lot of stuff with them kind of hand in hand. So a lot of those guys will come back in the summer and train with us as well, which is which is great. But uh, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, there's, they're really good guys. And it obviously brings kind of elevates that whole kind of atmosphere in the gym when they're around or on the ice when they're around for sure. Yeah, nice. Uh, obviously, you're the go-to person for uh, development of ice on ice hockey players. Um, have you ever played street hockey before? Yeah, I mean, we grew up playing street hockey. Yeah, in Sudbury there was no rinks usually in the summer, so mm -hmm. as soon as the rinks were out and the outdoor rinks were done, it was road hockey, ball hockey all summer. So, uh, I played in a lot of leagues, a lot of tournaments growing up, and it's uh, it is hockey, but it's way different. Right? Yeah. It's a whole different skill set, and you can't glide, which sucks. So you got to yeah. run. Uh, but it was a great cross training for us and. Uh, yeah, it's always been something that I, I always encourage young guys and, and girls to play and, and go out and you know use a ball, play with a ball, play with buddies. Uh, and I, unfortunately, it's something I think that sometimes you don't see a lot of it anymore. Driving through neighborhoods right now, you're not going to see a lot of ball hockey games, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, but it's I think it's changed a, a lot. Since, yeah, it uh, totally has. Mm -hmm. But I think it's something that's uh, invaluable for kids to get out and just have some fun and be kids and, and enjoy it. Great. Uh, yeah, because you are one of your strengths is your skating ability, and as soon as you take the skates off, it's ball changes. hockey or street yeah. hockey, uh, it's, oh, I don't have that advantage anymore. Yeah. It's a little, more, this is a little harder than I thought. Yeah, exactly. And I think for young kids, it's uh, you know we talk about soccer, and I I I, I agree. I think kids should play a variety of different sports, but at the same mm -hmm. time, you know, getting a stick in their hand and playing with the ball and shooting the ball, I think is great. So now adding that running aspect to it, kind of like soccer, lacrosse, things like that, uh, it's great for their for their conditioning and mm -hmm. cardio and things like that. 
So this is your office, essentially? Yeah. We're at uh, yeah. rink, uh, rink Pad B, but this is where you work out of every day, and, yeah. and uh, what's it like coming to the arena every day? You know what, it's, I mean, I, I think regardless of where your office is, it depends on who's there when you get there, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can get your office, it's not that fun. Uh, I've got <laughs> great guys and girls that I work with, so honestly, we, I, I, we enjoy it. I've been out a little bit with an injury, so I've been in the office a bunch this week kind of just getting back to it and I honestly yesterday I told the boys I'm like I, I, I miss you guys like, yeah. it, was, it was one of those things I'm like man I miss being around so I've got a real good group of people watch highlights and hang out and talk hockey and stuff so it's been uh, and how many are on your team yeah we've got about I mean we've got quite a bit of part-time staff obviously for our camps and clinics and things we're doing so anywhere from 30 to 40 part-time staff overall on our busy weeks and stuff but overall we've got uh, six seven six full-time and a couple you know real key part-time that are around uh, that are helping us. Probably a group of ten of us that are, you know, day in day out or week in week out. I guess working together. So. Great. Well, thanks for being a supporter of Got Game and yeah, look forward to seeing you at, at the event. Yeah, yeah. And I was, we were just talking about it the other day with some with some young players, and I know a lot of the, a lot of the boys and girls want to play in it, which is awesome. And it's one of those things that comes to London every year that I know we have had a gap year there, but it's uh, it's a great event, and I'm glad that you kind of picked it up and kept it going, and and hopefully uh, you get good numbers this year. It's a it's a lot of fun. I know the kids that we know that play in it love it, and mm -hmm. they always have a good time with it. So great, it should be a lot of fun. Thanks, Dwayne. All right, no problem.